Hello, everyone. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. My name is Adi Pollack, and today I am with SAP VP, Head of Product Management for Planning and Analytics, Christian. Hello, thank you for having me. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know, I've been learning a lot about SAP technologies and all its great capabilities. Um, and I've been discovering that Datasphere is an integral part of B2B uh, strategy. So how is, you know, today Datasphere integrated with SAP Analytics Cloud? So for us, the integration between Datasphere and SAP Analytics Cloud is one of our core priorities. Today, SAP Analytics Cloud integrates already with Datasphere, so we can connect Datasphere live to SAP Analytics Cloud and report on top of the analytical models inside Datasphere. Plus, we also have an integration for planning. For planning, we have a bidirectional data integration, so we can read data from Datasphere, also write back data into Datasphere, also with now a new Delta export capability. On top, we also can access the data catalog for SAP Analytics Cloud artifacts, plus we also recently introduced our Office 365 add-in for SAP Analytics Cloud running directly on Datasphere. So there is already many things available and, of course, more to come. Nice. That's fantastic to learn about all these great capabilities around data cataloging uh, and features and so on. Um, so I know you've been working also on the analytics part, right? Running product management yes. as part of the analytics. Um, and I've seen in the industry that predictive analytics using AI is a growing topic for you know, many customers and many companies. So how can I as a customer today integrate predictive scenarios using Datasphere? So in SAP Analytics Cloud, we already have a very powerful inbuilt predictive offering, which is called Smart Predict. And with Smart Predict, we can create predictive forecasts. But what we now have recently introduced is a possibility that we can take data from the data marketplace in Datasphere, take external data from data providers, load them directly into SAP Analytics Cloud Smart Predict, and leverage these drivers as external influencers to make our predictions even more powerful. So we load data from the marketplace through Datasphere into SAP Analytics Cloud predictions to create even more powerful forecasts. That's fantastic. So loading data into SAP Sphere and then leveraging all the capabilities that I have with SAP Analytics in order to run those predictive uh, using the smart analytics capabilities that you're offering. Did I get it correctly? That's true, yes. Okay, perfect. That's really smart and really help capture, you know, all the great benefits of working with the SAP uh, product suite also. Um, thank you. Uh, so what are the next upcoming integration topics in the course of 2023? Yeah, so the integration between SAP Analytics Cloud and SAP Datasphere is one of our core priorities. So we are investing actively into an even tighter integration. So what we're planning for this year is that we continue to invest into our live reporting capabilities on top of Datasphere to get even more features on top of the analytical model into SAP Analytics Cloud. Plus, we also plan to leverage our newly introduced data analyze in SAP Analytics Cloud so that it can directly connect on top of data sphere models. That's fantastic. So actually giving customers more abilities to run their different analytics um, by, by adding more integrations and more kind of smart analytics for them to take advantage of. Yes. Cool. Um, so when you think about the future release of SAP Analytics Cloud and data sphere, what do you see in the future that you're most excited about? In the, in the course of this year and next year, we are especially investing now again in the uh, BI capabilities. And then going forward, our next investment will be again into the integration between Datasphere with regards to planning. So we plan to integrate Datasphere with SAP Analytics Cloud in an even tighter manner mm -hmm. to reduce data replication between the products if it comes to master data and transactional data, but also metadata. So next big thing will be probably uh, planning with Datasphere. That's super interesting. 
so we have all these great capabilities when I'm thinking through, you know, as a potential customer looking at SAP, combining SAP analytics together with data sphere, they give me so many capabilities. So when thinking about customer journey, what is your advice for a customer today that want to, you know, take advantage of all these fantastic abilities? So we at SAP, we're totally committed to continue our journey towards the cloud. And with SAP Analytics Cloud, we already have an offering that is out there for seven plus years. And uh, Data Sphere now completes this offering with a complete data fabric approach. And my recommendation is for our customers, join us uh, in our journey, look into Data Sphere plus SAP Analytics Cloud. We're committed to invest into these two products and um, let's start the journey together. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Kristen, for joining me today. I've learned a lot, and I can't wait to get my hands on SAP Analytics Cloud. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today to learn something new and expand your horizons. I hope you're excited as me to start rolling your sleeves and get hands-on into SAP products.